We're here with Sigourney Weaver on the set of Planet Earth. Now, Miss Weaver, this is a little bit unorthodox, seeing as you and Mr. Attenborough, who hosted the BBC version of Planet Earth, are co-hosting this. How do you feel about that? Well, I'm really looking forward to it. You know, I've seen some of his stuff, and it, it's pretty great. I feel no animosity towards him. And uh, how do you feel with, about working with Sigourney Weaver? Well, she's an American, so that's detritus right from the off. This is an Earl Grey? Who the hell got me this? Well, Miss Weaver, even though uh, David Attenborough is a renowned scholar, people are a little put off by his bouffant physical narration. What do you think of this? Well, yes. Yes. Yeah. Mr. Attenborough, are you looking forward to the video? Look, I've never, ever, ever hosted with anybody else. I don't like people who upstage me. It annoys me. So you know what my final answer is? No. Hello, and welcome to Planet Earth, Undergraduate Edition. Tonight we'll be examining one of nature's most vivacious creatures, the ground squirrel. We have astonishing evidence that the Pacific rattlesnake has seriously influenced the evolution of these fascinating creatures, causing them to use tail fighting oh. as a... What? what are you doing here? We're in the middle of a take. Oh, hello, love. Who are you guys? Is this some kind of joke? No, no. We don't joke at the BBC, love. BBC. Oh, Attenborough! I knew he was going to do something like this. Alright, what do you guys want? Well, you got a nice studio here, love. It'd uh, be a shame if anything were to happen to it. Look, this is a 10 minute video and I only have a limited amount of time to talk about science. Science, she says. <laughs> She's a joker, isn't she, Mr. Blake? We don't like her attitude, do we, Mr. White? Not one bit, Mr. Blake. You're coming with us. But wait, no, listen. Hey, I'm an American. You can't do this. Oh, I love come with us, yeah. Admiral, I'm gonna get you for this. <laughs> well, you sure as hell can try, love. Have fun in the Bastille. Well, we shouldn't be seeing her again. How do we account for the astonishing diversity in animal signals? Biologically speaking, answers to this long-standing question have historically focused on both a variety of messages that the animals must encode and the multiplicity of media through which signals must travel. However, animal signals must also work through the sensory specialization of the signal targets, in this case, snakes. 
Tonight, we discuss the California ground squirrel and its predators, the infrared-sensitive rattlesnake and the infrared-insensitive gopher snake. Now, the California ground squirrel has magnificently incorporated this infrared component into its defensive tail-flagging maneuvers, which we can see here. Ah, isn't that adorable? <laughs> Here we see a common Spermophilus beachii, the California ground squirrel. This critter, which makes a tasty little snack for many snakes, perfectly exemplifies the effort of predation on evolution. During the Oligocene epoch, 30 million years ago, these squirrels had not even evolved their distinct tail flagging ability. Now, the ground squirrel tried for many years to defend itself from attacks from these deadly vipers, first reinforcing its plastron and caprice, taking bouts in archery, then trading bows and arrows for crossbows, kalashnikovs, and all sorts of weapons. Some of them even took up heavyweight pugilism, but due to the fact that God wasn't listening to their prayers, the squirrels instead looked to Charles Darwin. Evolution is a force that defines nature as we know it today. The question is, why did this animal evolve to do this? Can often be partially answered by asking, what tries to eat the animal? Evolutionary biologists have hypothesized that predator sensory systems in particular guide the evolution of how prey and animals sense the world and how signals are sent. Rattlesnakes in particular have- <laughs> <laughs> You can't get rid of me that easily, David. Rattlesnakes have evolved a highly sensitive heat sensing organ, presumably to help them find glowing mammalian prey. Ground squirrels, in turn, have evolved to protect themselves from these rattlesnakes and add an infrared component to their snake directed tail flagging signals during confrontations. To learn more about the ground squirrel, we're here in the lab of Dr. Sanjay S. Joshi, a renowned squirrel expert. How do you do, Doctor? Oh, splendid, Miss. I hear you've done some fascinating research in the world of squirrel tail flagging. Yes, we've used some infrared technology to examine some specimens here in the lab. Would you like to see some? Why, sure. Okay, let's go. Hey guys, what's up? So this is it? Yep, there it is right there. It, what, do I not have feelings or something? He's not exactly a svelte squirrel. He's on loan from Power of Rainus. He's and Kenny Right. So, anyway, what exactly is the scientific definition of tail flagging? Well, tail flagging is the side to side motion of the elevated pilorectal tail. Why would a squirrel want to do that? This action places a snake on the defensive, deterring them from staying in the vicinity of the burrows with the squirrel pumps. How interesting! Who knew that tail flagging could be so useful for squirrels? Oh, Sigourney, I could have told you about tail flagging. David, get out of my shot. <laughs> um, you know, I find the entire process of tail flagging eerily similar to a wet rag soaked in chloroform waving around in the air. <laughs> yes, well, that takes care of her.